James Holden. It's the clock puncher like you, Bash. Five fathers, three mothers? Me, yeah. Jimmy liked to think of himself as a knight. He thought it was a funny story. Oh, he didn't know me. I never broke it to him that it was a tragedy. Eight parents, one child, on a 22-acre farm in Montana. He grew up thinking he was alive because the land needed him. He has no love for Earth. He's from Earth. He hasn't been back in over 12 years. It's a terrible thing to tell a child. You were a tax break? Well, maybe it's his family. That's not the way they saw it. You were a problem in the My name is James Holden, speaking for the five survivors of the Canterbury. You were dishonorably discharged. He ordered me to fire on a Belter ship. Just stay calm. They just want the cargo. Well, SOS start negotiations for prisoner release, okay? Just... We recovered a false speaking and identified it as Martian naval technology. It was a trap. There's something you should know. It was a smuggler who was smuggling people. We intend to cooperate. This means we won't be harmed. You had no way of knowing that at the time. But I was right. We're dead anyway. Any such action. Hey, Victor. But only confirmed that the Canterbury was destroyed by Mars. She's gone. It's all connected. I did it. The can't, the girl. It's not your problem. I just couldn't shake it. It's not your fault. None of it is. I'd keep that to myself if I were you. Feeling guilty as hell. Please, God, stop trying to take credit for every damn thing that's wrong in the universe. Okay. But now I'm making it my problem. I'm talking about all of you being caught up in this. Get out. Get out! I've never shot anyone. Half the system thinks you're some kind of outlier hero, but you're really kind of clueless, aren't you? We just got hit with a mega dose of hard radiation. Spreading it deliberately. It's an experiment. How bad? Oh, goddamn station. For death. Whoa, hey, you know, hey, you're, you're a good man. Tell okay. me why I'm a good man. We're leaving a place like Earth. Everything I loved was dying. Even mercy. <laughs> because you know that sometimes a man is pushed so far that he does things that he doesn't recognize. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck about your daughter. Why did you? But I went there to kill him. I used you to get us through the and none of us would be breathing if you hadn't come. Do whatever it takes to prevent another arrows. No one could have taken the asteroid to a missile. Are you refusing to fly to prevent it from doing something worse? I don't mind bashing some assholes, I mean. You saved us. I don't deserve credit for that. I can get to thank you in person for everything you did during the Aeros incident. You're a hero. It doesn't matter. I almost traded your lives to do it. No. This does not sound like the man I walked away from again. Miller and Julie were the heroes. Understand why you did. Can you look him in the eye and tell him that whatever this might be is more important than finding his kid? We owe you some answers. So at least you know we did everything we could to find I her. did that once. I'm not doing it again. We set him up to be a There's leader. A to keep following her. It's cruel. I was ordering you. It's depending on me. Amos and Alex. To your deaths. You put your lives in my hands. No, have you even questioned it? I'm okay. I tried saving the world. All I did was make it worse. How about one for a guy who has a problem tilting at windmills? You grew up on a farm, right? Whatever happened to the man who risked certain death to stop Harris? Our farm. And then gave him a fight. It's just something I thought I had to save. He stopped fighting battles. He could never he win. win. You're not a child. Childs who won't grow up turns into a fool. Fools keep going, even when they know there's no chance of winning. I think sometimes I convince myself the worst can't happen. It's a way for me to get through things. I knew a guy like that once. What happened to him? So no wonder if I'm cursed. Yeah, why is that? Because out of the whole human race, you're the one flying through the mysterious alien artifact of the dead guy? It's no accident you're in the midst of all of this chaos. It's all the beings who built the ring. And how come it is that every time there's some clusterfuck shitstorm situation in the universe, there's James Holden shrugging shoulders saying, I'm hanging up here. All 
love it has to mean something. Otherwise, all these people have died for nothing. I can't let us die down here. It's not on you. Yes, yes, I am. You brought this on us. This is your fault. It's talking to me. Talking to anyone else. I wish it were, but it's not. I have to figure out what it wants. I'm the only one who can. She told me when you were a boy, you wanted to be a knight. That's because I was a boy. This is going to destroy you. It doesn't matter. This time, I didn't run from the fight. Scared? We're hurt and we're reaching for violence because we can't figure out what to do. But just this once, can't we try something else? You're not responsible for the world. Do something meaningful with the time you have in it. Believe it or not, the world will go on without you. Nothing's ever going to change. Truth and justice. We've been given knowledge and answers that you still believe. Humans have only dreamt about. After everything you saw, I've also been there. Horrific nightmares, visions of death I can never unsee. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that for a little while. You have to be the most naive person I've ever met. Earth and Mars is stepping on the necks of the Belters out here for over a hundred years, and I didn't want to be the boot. This goddamn thing together, and everyone keeps telling me to pick a sign. So you decided to switch sides. I stopped playing. Earth, Mars, the Belt, the LPA. We're all the same people. It's all people. Every time anyone uses a ring, it puts all of us at risk. I'm not a belter. I'm just a man from Earth representing people I respect and sometimes love. An outsider, and I always will be. And there's a problem with that. In order to survive, we have to pick a side. My first official act as president of the Transport Union I resign. The future of the belt has to speak with a belter's voice, and in that spirit, I'm proud to introduce the new president of the Transport Union, Kamina Drummer. It was the only way to secure the peace, the only way we all move forward together. Next and you question. know it. You're such a fucking optimist. It's a miracle you've lived this long.